strong individual hits and good coverage. Of course, we're not seeing the Bowser, we're seeing the Ganondorf, mm -hmm. which is, um, I guess you can apply something similar to, but just like way, way worse. <laughs> yeah, and this is going to be really difficult just because Palu just has all these edge guarding tools. Mm -hmm. But Duplin King, if there's one thing he's confident about, it's his recovery. Yeah, dude has a lot of good recovery mix-ups. He's got a very, very solid uh, grasp on general spacing and where he should be to take the least amount of damage. It's just so hard to play through Pau Lutena. Like, character just has so much going for her whenever she takes space with her speed and then jumps backwards. She has literally a shield. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, Broken. really hard to get through. <laughs> okay, but you know what? Ganondorf with Rage? I'd be terrified. Oh, yeah, One you're mistake, never you're dead. It's a oh, ho, 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 ho. he was looking for it. Two popcorn. I was like, I'm just gonna walk away. That's the type of game plan you gotta play against Palutena, though. Sometimes the character will just like never give you an opening, so you have to create one with a solid read or an excellent guess. And that's what Dumpling King seems like just so so good at covering with the neutral air. Very very comfortable trying to let the lingering neutral air come down, but it does not connect. And a solid edge guard to finish off the stuff. That's so scary. These explosive flames and Dumpling King. We saw the same thing as well with Obese Far, where he actually just, well, Zooey, where he like just air dodged back, hoping that he had an opportunity to get back to ledge. He wanted that spot dodge so, so bad. Two Popcorn is big on down air usage. Like, he loves to cross up shields with a down air, he loves to read spot dodges with it. Like, he's a very big fan of like weaving that into his shield pressure, which does more than you think because it implies that Palutena is taking an aggressive stance rather than strictly being defensive. And an aggro Palutena, one that's confident in her movement, that's really terrifying, but maybe a little bit flexing a little too hard with the empty op there as the up smash closes out. Dumpling King evens up the stock Dance, count. Palu, dance. Up smash. <laughs> Sheesh. Hey, if it's the first time, it's not going to miss again. Well, so we always bully Demix. Yes. <laughs> 150, huh? Yeah. In there? No. But this, this is where the Ganondorf game plan comes to play. I mean, it's it is, here. It is max rage. One, uh, one flame choke, maybe. If he can make it back, he can. As you mentioned okay. earlier, Dumpling King so, so good at these recoveries. Able to make it back from wherever, making plays, but just barely whipping. Oh, my Gets God. Another he's it again. What was what, what, that, that reach? He's, he's got big arms, big claws. Big, Love meaty it. claws. Oh, he won. He was right, too. He was just a little too early on the dash attack. That's so unfortunate. Had so many opportunities, and now the Palutena and Air train starts to kick off. Ooh, leaving in a raw and air to get to the platform. Trying for the second. Cheeky, but not able to find it. Only taking 44, only. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. 44% is nothing. He lived to 160 before. Fair enough, right? Like, we literally just saw him live to max rage and beyond. Somebody okay. mod, mod meaty claws on his hand. <laughs> yeah, just like crab claws. Yeah, only on the side B. Oh, rest in peace, <laughs> background artist. Down tilt, maybe? Oh, no, it goes to ledge. We're just, there's the down tilt, just a little bit too far. All right, neutral get up. All right, the boots. Oh, this is so even. It kind of is low key. Like, Palutena, for all of her strengths and all of her abilities, Two Popcorn hasn't really shown off a lot of counterplay oh. to two framing, oh, no. but this should be the finish, yeah. Yeah. Do you think we're going to see a switch to Bowser? I feel like that was so difficult, so stressful for Dumpling King. I mean, Palutena is rough either way you go about it. I do think Bowser does much, like, significantly better mm. uh, because as I was touching off the end, like, the way to beat Palutena nine times out of ten is to keep up with her in neutral just enough to deal a significant damage and then to try and two-frame her, yeah. of which Bowser does immaculately well. And ba uh, Ganondorf does okay at best. Yeah. But Dumbledore's ride or die on this Ganon. So... And he has that moment where he's like, oh, maybe I should switch to Bowser, and he loses even harder. He's like, I should have yeah. stuck with Ganondorf. Sometimes just when you're, when you're going against the best of the best and like some really, really good players, you got to just pick the character you're best with because then you're not you're, – you're, you're subconsciously spacing and playing around and choosing your options rather than just consciously doing that. Yeah, you have to think less about the little yeah. things. Yes. That already comes naturally. And all right, already looking very natural here on Town and City, 79%. The damage is... It's going to matter. It's going to matter later, but finishing the stock is everything. Finds, finds the up B. Trying to play around these platforms. Ooh. 
just one up smash. It's all you need. And two popcorn still leaning back, still pretty comfy. But Dumpling King, you know, now in the driver's seat. See, there's even a little smirk there. I saw that. Sometimes when you get it and you know, it's like, oh yeah, I'm nice. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I'm not bad. Ganondorf can do it. I believe. This gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go bunga your way to victory. Yo, I love the patience. Something that's specific to Ganondorf as well is the down throw does get uh, hit by the backer after the DI in, uh, confirming that it was very nice from two popcorn. Mm -hmm. uh, the Next. micro spacing though in the air though, Dumpling King threw out like four aerials and two popcorn is like, I'm just gonna go away. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Powertana neutral air. Just is so hard to play around. There's a reason Dumpling King is spending so much time on the ledge. Like not only is it uh, is Ganondorf's ledge hang one of, if not the best in the game in terms of hitability, but also jumping against Powhatana sucks. <laughs> like, yeah. Character's so fast and you're Spending a lot of time trying to maneuver around her with the slowest character in the game. Oh, he was right though. Was yeah, right but he's game. having these right reads, but two popcorn yeah. is just an inch away every time. I guess that's the beauty of Ganondorf, especially with a hundred plus percent. You don't need to be right every time. You just need to be right enough times. That's just gambling in a nutshell. Yeah. Keep gambling, kids. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he weaved. Uh, he was just confident. It was like, that's not hitting me. And it didn't. He was right. All right, going to bet it all here. <laughs> oh, speaking of betting it all, two popcorn with that counter. I think this is going to lose him the game. It might. That's it. It did. You were right. <laughs> <laughs> clap, it, clap it up for Swiss. He was right. <laughs> I can't believe that. I don't know what he was thinking with those counters. I, I get it because a lot of times you'll see... Ganondorf, one of the best things about him is that he has pretty low end lag on his aerials. Mm -hmm. So, like, as we... I'm going to reset this. We all know what. Yeah. So, like, typically in moments like these, Ganondorf is landing with something like an up air, which starts right here and uh -huh. covers the whole space, or a neutral air, which covers this entire space. Mm -hmm. So, like, a counter is a gamble, but it immediately puts you back into the driver's seat. Meanwhile... Instead of that, yeah. he just decided, I'm going to fastball air dodge, and now you look like an idiot. <laughs> and then he doubled down on the counter. Yes. But right now we are going to the final destination. Not a bad pick for either, though Ganondorf definitely having a harder time with no platforms. Yeah, it'll be rough once he gets hit. But hey, if you can compete with that crazy neutral air, it's doing a lot right now. All right, there, jab. Okay, but here we go. How does Ganondorf land? You don't. You play it slow. I mean, if there's anything that, that I love about Dumpling King, it's the fact that he's willing to play it slow. It's like he's not always skipping steps. Oh! oh! Not the roll back. He Bro rolled back twice, I think, too. Brother, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't want to hold shield there, but like, oh, no. <laughs> Two Popcorn definitely thought he was out of range for that. He's like, oh, it'll just scrape me. I'll see the, I'll see the sparks. No nah, dice. sparks are flying there. The spacing, the head. steam. Yeah, just a good back throw. You gotta, you gotta close out the stock here. Oh no, still alive. Oh boy. <laughs> I love geometry. That's I so love hot. geometry. <laughs> the tangent angle right there. Yeah, Get your trig up. Again, okay, flashbacks to like high school trigonometry. <laughs> the unit circle. Ew. Uh, Ew. Uh, Get ready for the quadratic equation. <laughs> that stuff put me to sleep every time. <laughs> Trigonometry was my nap time. That's my teacher high. felt bad for me. She gave me a C minus just so I could pass. W. <laughs> <laughs> Thank good, you. Good teacher alert. <laughs> oh, tries for that down air into Nair. Really confident that it would have hit maybe. Or that dumpling king would jump. Dude just has a sense of control, man. Dude, oh. He's so good. He's just so good. Like... <laughs> He plays Ganondorf. I really want Dumpling King to play Sheik so badly. Oh my god. Oh, right? No. Dude, oh, on, no. dude on any character that's just like good spacing like and just oh. pure spacing. Do it again. Oh, oh he my was god. Underneath. I think the he wanted the dunk too. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so Dumpling King Sheik? Kind of. Dude, oh my god. If we get him to play was, like so Sheik or Lucina or Marth or just like any character that's slow paced 
and heavy spacing. Excellent. Yeah. Magnifique. I don't know if either of those would work just because Dumpling King is the kind of player who he needs just like a couple of reads to close out a stock and end the right, set. So Marth. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, th I think Marth would go better just because Sheik and Lucina have to do a lot more work, dude. especially Sheik. You have to hit like a hundred times. Dude, this, he just wants to. This, this made. Dude. How close was this? That was, okay. it was so close. It he wasn't fast fell into it. It wasn't. A, I just love the bait, right? Like mm -hmm. Palutena picks final destination. That intrinsically sets up a scenario where oh, two popcorn wants to like hit me with something in midair and mm -hmm. just like constantly play the fact that Gendorf is super slow. So I'm gonna give him what he wants. I'm gonna play in midair. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play it through that and give him this false sense of security that you can challenge. But with the perfect of spacing. Like, I know you're going to do this, and I know this forward air, thanks to a little bit of hurt box shifting as well, mm. is just going to be ever so slightly yeah. above. Ever so slightly. And now you whiffed an aerial against Ganondorf. Yep. Explode. That's a dead stock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, though, I do feel bad for Dumpling King going into Obese Farts. Yeah. Obese Fart on a tear this entire bracket.